This is Ulrich Vogel, director of Project End Station. 27th of January, 1945, 7.20 a.m. Task Force Balder is in position. I am powering up the cyclotron, and we are about to embark on this... Dr. Vogel? I am... Uh, sorry, I did not know you were recording. Why are you here, Dr. Kurtz? Did you not read my final orders? Yeah, Herr Doktor. That is what I wish to speak about. This last part. About your daughter. I know it is asking a lot, Kurtz. And I know you and I have not always seen eye to eye. But I trust no one more than you to look after Angelica when I am gone. If nothing else, you are thorough. I am honored, sir. But this may not be necessary. I beg you, do not evacuate the facility before launching the operation. With the staff here, there's a chance we can stabilize the collider and safely... Kurtz, stop. You showed me yourself how Operation Balder will surely overload the power couplings. But calling it off would doom the Reich. This, my friend, is the only path forward. Take her. Teach her. Be there, both of you, when Operation Balder bears fruit. Finish my work. Make sure the staff clears out. Get to safety. Live a long life. And tell Angelica her father loved her. I will alert the task force when the breach is stable, and I will see them through alone. Understood? Jawohl, Herr Doktor. You... You will not be forgotten. If the Reich lives on, it will all be worth it. Okay, this is a weird one. So weird that for the benefit of the record, I would like to make it 100% clear that my recent psychiatric evaluation cleared me for active duty in my current role. And any other duties the CAA deems necessary. So, with that said, let me lay it all out on the table. The robot. The fucking robot. The one we didn't even ask for? Is a stone-cold lunatic. Wait, let me make it more clear. He's a psychotic murderer. Uh, let me backtrack a little. We took delivery of the unit with little or no indication of its purpose. All we got was a note from some department called Requiem, stating that he was being assigned to us. None of us knew what the fuck was going on, but we followed the directives, sat the thing down, and plugged the bastard into an outlet. Nothing. It didn't even start blinking or light up. Agent Bedard laughed the whole time, saying this was another bullshit waste of government funding. He even drew a mustache on the robot's face. And we were all laughing about it when we went to bed. We weren't laughing the next morning. The dart was dead. Strangled. No word from HQ on what to do, so... We unplugged the damn thing and hoped that was the end of it. It wasn't. Next morning, Agent James was just as dead as Bedard. So I chained that bastard robot to his charging chair and removed his damn hands. I just pray that's the end of it. Agent Jack. What the fuck? Klaus. I was wondering if you could give me a hand, but... Both hands. My hands. What the fuck are you doing, Klaus? Agent Rico, the bastards on the move again! Here they are. I won't ask why you took them away. I am sure you had your reasons. Re-attaching your hands when you have no hands is not exactly easy. Rico! Oh, God damn it, Jack. You 
pissed the bed again? That metal bastard's in my fucking room! Hello, Agent Rico. May I ask why you are carrying that baseball bat? Do you want to assist in the killing of Agent Jack? <coughs> what the fuck? Oh. Honestly, I think I can do it myself. Son of a bitch! Get your hand off! Let him go! Then Jack. Fuck. Jack was the worst. I saw it happen. I saw that soulless, shiny bastard choke the life from him. I hit him with a baseball bat repeatedly, but he, he just wouldn't stop. He even kept going for a bit after the battery popped out of his stupid metal head. As I said, fuck. I dragged his metal ass back to the chair and chained him up again. Then I threw the fucking battery as far into no man's land as I could, which... I was pretty far. Jack always said I was a better pitcher than a hitter. Aside from the agents, the damn robot murdered. Agent Jones got himself wasted trying to deliver the nuke. So it's just me now. The rest of the station staff are gone. For good. Guess it's all on me. Like I said already. Fuck. Everything and everyone can be corrupted. Even those close to you. I doubt you realize what she has done. The traitor is somewhere in Berlin. Destroy her army, or your pilot will be bled dry. I am Klaus. I am here for help. Contact! A portal has been opened. One that threatens to allow a long dead army <laughs> to reinfect our world. You will stop her. And when the time comes, kill her. November 30, 1984. It has been just over two weeks since the uh, unfortunate disaster involving Omega's reality inversion warheads. It appears chaos follows Dr. Peck wherever he goes. I have been told Peck's removal is not viable. He is our premier expert on Ethereum. And there is no time to find and educate a suitable replacement. Another unfortunate disaster. Peck hoped the missiles could be recovered, but, as I suspected, our salvage efforts have proven futile. What remains of the warheads belongs to the ocean now. We must begin again. We cannot afford another setback at the hands of Requiem. I had hoped to deal with them after Operatia Inversia, but I can see now they require my immediate and undivided attention. If there is any consolation, it seems Requiem remains in the dark about our agenda. They believe the inversion warheads were to destroy the West. Little do they realize a greater threat looms in the dark ether. The entity must be contained. Is that my tea? Yes, Uncle Lucas. Alexandra, would you join me for a moment? There's a matter we should discuss. 
Of course. What is it? I was hoping you could enlighten me to the meaning of this envelope I received today. Dear Miss Valentina, on behalf of the Committee on Admissions, your application to the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology has been formally accepted. We had an agreement. Anything you wanted in life, I would support you. Except one thing. Uncle, please, I can explain. You promised me you gave up this foolish pursuit. Do you know where this road leads? I have seen it! Lived it! Horrors you could not possibly imagine! But... But I am good at it! The world out there! The factory! I do not understand! But this... Physics and microbiology... I saw what it did to your father! It took years before I understood the pain we caused! The atrocities we committed! I will not allow you to follow in his path. You do not understand. I must. He told you I must complete his work. Take her. Teach her. Be there, both of you, when Operation Boulder bears fruit. What did you say? How could you possibly know that? This acceptance letter is going in the trash. Better yet, the fire. No! We shall not speak of this again. Alexandra, is it time for tea already? Yes, Uncle. Be careful. It is quite hot. <sighs> Tea can never be too hot. Alexandra, <clears throat> can I have a moment, please? About our discussion yesterday, I know you may not appreciate it now, but please understand my only concern is for your well-being. Your father was a complicated man. It was a different time. What we did was wrong. I only wish to protect you from the mistakes we made. I understand, Uncle Lucas. But I do not agree. I'm sorry, what did you say? My father was a brilliant man, and you were a pathetic worm working in his shadow. How dare you? How dare I? How dare you denounce his work? How dare you sit there and feed me lies? Careful, Alexandra. Your father... <gasps> I will go to university, uncle. You will not stop me. Father is disappointed you lost your way. You abandoned Operation Boulder. The tea... <coughs> what have... <coughs> done... Alexandra! My name is Angelica Hannibal Vogel. My father has a plan, and I will help him complete it. <coughs> it is finished, father. I did as you instructed. Do you approve? Father? <coughs> 